guys, it's me, Pokeball, and I'm back. Sorry it's been so long. I wanted to take a break from drawing so much. I decided to make something different instead of Pokemon. I didn't want to only make Pokemon for the next following months until the, whole, the quarantine was over. Hope you enjoy the video. I even wrote a story for it. I'm sorry if the, the dialogue is a little iffy. Peace. 1,000 years ago, the town of Riotto was at peace. Until one day, a monster that went by the name of Nirak appeared. Nirak fed off the fear that he instilled upon the people he terrorized. Nirak had an unlimited supply of power because as long as there was no one to oppose him, he would remain in power. Until one day, three large creatures appeared. They seemed to have an army behind them, but they were obviously the most powerful. The Red Wolverine, the Blue Bat, and the Yellow Monkey. They had saw what had become of the town of Riotto. Oh, and they just sat and watched until today. It was a long and hard battle, but eventually the Red Wolverine, the Blue Bat, and the yellow monkey and their army were victorious. The people of Riotto would resume a peaceful era until Nirak appeared once again, centuries later for his revenge. Nirak was feeding off the fear of kids' nightmares. Children had wild imaginations and nightmares would take advantage of that. And more importantly, Nirak would take advantage of that. The power that he gained from children's nightmares weren't enough to bring him back just yet, but it was enough to send monsters to bring in more fear. The Wolverine, Bat, and Monkey watched as their city would slowly turn back into a place of chaos and a living nightmare. And they could only watch as this happened until a man named Zordon appeared. He offered them the power of the Morphing Grid. He said while they could not save the city directly, they could choose worthy humans to do the job for them. The beast accepted as it seemed to be their only option. The Red Wolverine was looking for someone who was tough, someone willing to hold their own against monsters, especially Nirak. He searched and searched until he found Terence Charleston. Terence was an underground street fighter who used the money from his winnings to pay for his college education. Terence was an underground street fighter who used the money from his winnings to pay for his college education. The Wolverine saw how Terence studied hard at school and trained hard in the night for his underground fights. The Red Wolverine had made up his mind and decided that Terrence was a worthy fit to be the Red Ranger. Terrence came home from a training session and he noticed that his glove had changed. It was red and had some weird buttons on it. He put it on and shockwaves of energy shot throughout his body. Terrence was scared. He didn't know what was going on or what to do. Eventually, a suit just enveloped his body. He, he could see through a lens. Eventually, a suit started appearing across his body. This only freaked him out even more. That's when he heard a disembodied voice. It was the Red Wolverine. He, the Red Wolverine tried to explain what was going on. He had explained that he had been chosen to be the Red Ranger, that he and two others would have to fight Nirak, a monster that could destroy their world. Terrence stopped listening after a monster that could destroy their world. He said that he had no time to deal with Power Rangers and monsters and it, he didn't care about any of this. He only cared about himself and immediately took his glove off. This set the suit and the shockwaves of energy out of his body. 
Just then, Terrence heard screaming right outside of his window. He looked outside just in time to see monsters in long black hair, purple skin, and black armor with a brown mask on their face chasing people around. Terrence saw that the fight was getting closer to his house, and he immediately ran outside to fight the monsters. He realized that he forgot the glove and decided to just forget it all together and fight it on his own. Terrence at first was putting up a pretty good fight against creatures that were definitely stronger than him, but he was eventually overpowered and it looked like the end for Terrence until a person in a blue bat costume dropped down. So the way I was going with the story was that uh, I made my own Power Rangers, I made the own origin for my Power Rangers, and normally the Red Ranger doesn't like being the Power Ranger at all. They think it, it, it messes with their personal life. They think it messes up with a whole bunch of stuff. And I also wanted to make this a traditional art time-lapse video because I wouldn't be able to make a time-lapse video on th this channel. I don't make it like a good angle because I don't have a GoPro. I just have a, I just have a, my iPhone. And I'm just stuck with that. And I decided to make the most of it. I eventually go back and do some extra, extra sh do work with these drawings because because the colors just didn't feel right to me. This was Tanya Parks. She, she was a short and shy girl for her age, but she showed bravery when she saw a car about to hit a child playing in the road. The child wasn't looking out for cars and didn't see the car about to hit her, and the driver clearly was not paying attention to the road. So Tanya swooped into action and grabbed the kid and put him on the other side of the road. Unbeknownst to her at the time, the blue bat saw all of this and decided to make Tanya Parks the Blue Ranger. She was hesitant at first, but once she realized that this could hurt many people, she decided to step up. She was using her new powers to patrol the city when she saw a group of monsters attacking a man in blue tights and a red shirt. Tanya dropped in and jump kicked three of the monsters into a building, knocking them out and destroying them. Together with Terrence, Tanya defeated the rest of the monsters. She started asking Terrence if he was okay and did he need to go to the hospital. Terrence shrugged it off and said, hey, I'll, I can walk this off. Don't worry about me. But then another monster appeared. It looked bigger and from the looks of it, a lot stronger. It had clouds surrounding its face, only revealing one purple eye. The rest of its body was covered in yellow and green splotches. Terrence said, Ew, what is that? It looks disgusting. The monster responded in an angry tone. My name is Stormius. And you're not that good looking yourself. Terrence replied in a snarky tone. Please, you wish you had hair like this. Stormius then just scoffed and shot lightning at Terrence, which sent him rocketing backwards. Tanya then charged at Stormius. She wasn't doing much damage. Her increased strength and speed weren't enough to bring this monster down like the last ones. Stormius then just threw her back and shot lightning at her. She was able to dodge it and didn't get a direct hit like Terrence did. Just then, another figure dropped down. It was the Yellow Ranger. I was going very unagenic, uh, unapologetically Batman-like for this design. I accidentally made it shorter than I wanted it to look, and I forgot to make the these characters feminine looking. So that's why the Blue Ranger doesn't look too feminine. And uh, the point of the character is that it's, she's supposed to be younger. So she she hasn't gone through... Pu okay, I'm going to skip that. Um, 
Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. So. Oh, I wanted to make one of the characters Batman. Like, I wanted to make the other characters look. I wanted to make the Red Ranger look like a Power Ranger. And then I wanted to make the last character look. Uh, look like something out of Miraculous Ladybug. Plus a helmet. Because they don't wear helmets in Miraculous Ladybug, they just wear a mask. Except for that one case where Adrian turned into Aspic. Yeah. It's weird. So. If you guys want me to make like a. Like two other rangers. Because when there are three rangers. They either. They add two more rangers. At, soon after. I didn't want to make like five rangers. Because I knew that would take like two weeks. Because I had to make the. I had to make these rangers out of my own free time. And I didn't have a lot of that. So, so, enjoy, enjoy this design. Unlike the Red Wolverine and the Blue Bat, the Yellow Monkey wasn't looking for any admirable qualities. She was just simply looking for someone with a sense of humor. She eventually crossed paths with Carl Stevens. Carl Stevens would often brighten everybody's day with a joke or help anybody who was sad or upset. The Yellow Monkey didn't have a doubt in her mind to make Carl Stevens the Yellow Ranger. Unlike Terrence and Tanya, Carl was not shy at all about being the Yellow Ranger. He immediately jumped out of his apartment and ran to find any bad guys that he could fight. He eventually caught wind of what was happening near Terrence's place and decided to join the fight. Carl was about to start fighting when his hands started glowing and then boxing gloves appeared on his hands. That's convenient, said Carl in a very happy tone. Carl started throwing punches at Stormius and so was Tanya. Whilst this was going on, Terrence ran back into his house. He started watching the fight from the sidelines instead of fighting alongside the other rangers. With every blow that Stormius landed on the rangers, Terrence cringed a little bit. Knowing that he could go out and fight and wasn't was killing him from the inside. It was annoying him. It was getting on his nerves that he couldn't rise to a challenge. Terrence had had enough and grabbed the glove that had turned into a ranger morpher. Terrence burst onto the scene with his red ranger costume. Y'all got room for one more, said Terrence. We could definitely use some help, said Tanya. Carl started throwing a barrage of punches. Tanya threw a wing attack. Metal blades appeared on Terrence's wrist and he finished the attack with two slices to the monster's face. How dare you? We will be back, Stormia said while exploding. The rangers patted themselves on the back knowing they defeated Stormius, but knew that this was only the beginning. Well, that's it for this video. That's it for this video. Oh, so I I had a lot of fun making these Power Rangers. I had a lot of fun making something that wasn't, that was different than what I'm used to. Ooh, that's what art is, stepping outside your comfort zone to make, oh, to make a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, uh, I tried to do a meaningful uh, what art is thing, but that just turned out bad. I have to make an outro for this video. And it's gonna be releasing late at, at on Friday. It'll possibly be releasing on Saturday. Eh? So people are probably just gonna watch it on Saturday because they're not gonna be like, oh, look, there's a new video. Let me watch it on Friday night. So I was like, yeah, cause no. Yeah, I bet they have time. They're just not going to. Anyway, I had a lot of fun making this design. I had a lot of fun drawing this. Um, for the Yellow Ranger, I was worried I wouldn't have space. And for the story, I also was afraid I wouldn't have space for this either, and I have to and I have to make the time lapse longer. 
the problem was the exact opposite, which is why I'm right. Um, I'm making these breakdowns along with the story. You know, I was planning on just having the story and then just doing the, and then just doing, and then just making an outro talking about what I liked about, the, about this. Well, anyway. Stay cool, stay in school. Wait, that's my other channel. Peace. Boom.